What's good? Team exclusive and welcome back to yet some more FIFA 21 content. Today is day number 10, I do believe. We're up to double digits, unless I'm wrong. I believe today is day number 10 and we have a brand new player SPC in store for us. Today, I believe, is going to be a right mid. There was no other in information besides um, being a right mid. Hopefully, we'll check it out as long as I can actually get into the... Uh, Freaking game. That'd be great. Come on, EA Sports. I know you can do it. I know you I know you can do it. Can you do it? Oh, there we go. Are we We're in Ultimate Team? Woo! Yeah, you know, the first hurdle has been beaten. Okay, so let's have a look at the objectives. See if there's anything going on in here. Of course, we had the Freeze Volan, which I think is a very it's a very fun and interesting card. Obviously, you can see his stats in full. Uh, obviously, maybe maybe not the most meta. Maybe. He might well be. Uh, I've been hearing good things about the Jesus Navas. Um, uh, the Jesus Navas SBC. Apparently, it's meant to be um, actually quite good, considering he's only 5 foot 3. So, uh, yeah, good stuff to hear. But, uh, of course, we've still got the Silver Stars. We've got Freeze Balassi still in there for another 4 or so days. We've got the Real Madrid kit, which, again, as we've mentioned, looks... Well, you can see what it looks like. Um... And that looks like it's pretty much that. So, cool. Okay, nothing new in there. Any of you um, milestones? Nope. By the looks of it, it's just the same old garbage. And, of course, we've still got this one. Yeah, so I think that's pretty... Uh... Oh. Okay, so apologies about that. We'll uh, take number two. Not sure what happened uh, happened with that. But, uh, yeah, my camera just seemed to, to shit the bed. Anyway... I did unfortunately see who we have today, but we are going to have a look at the player objective in a second. Just continue. I don't believe there's any new objectives. Kind of went through it. So no, there's nothing new there, which is as per standard from EA. Now, um, in the way of SPCs, we have a right mid, Lala. Now, very in it's a very interesting card. A very, very interesting card. Um, because obviously, I think he was... Is he a left back or he might be a right back? I'm not 100% sure, but uh, either way, it's a nice position change. Kind of going from defense to uh, to attack. And um, wait, how, yeah, we'll check that in a second. I want to have a look at his stats. First of all, obviously, three star, three star. Not the greatest, but not not the worst. You know, it, it's doable. It's not uh, it's not terrible. It's got right right footed. Obviously, it doesn't really matter. Um, high medium, which is quite nice. Five for 10, which is very nice as well. Um, and of course plays in uh, League Un, so gets a lot of strong links to the likes of Mbappe, you know, that kind of stuff, so very nice as well. Good pace, very good, uh, very good pace actually, very even, acceleration, sprint speed, the same. Shooting isn't bad, shot power's nice, long shots is a bit, is a bit meh, finishing's actually quite nice, 82. Attack positioning is very nice at 91. Passing is very, very nice as well, 83. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be, um, so... Very nice with that. Dribbling, obviously, very nice as well. Defending, it's not bad. I mean, considering he's probably had a downgrade from being a defender to, a, to a now a, an attacker, uh, it's actually pretty good. And then physicals are quite nice as well. Obviously, with a chemi chemistry cell, if you need to, you could boost those quite nicely as well. But uh, I think that's such a very, very nice looking card. The only, the only downside could be is if this squad is like an 80... 6 with an inform or an 86 rated squad. I think if you do an 84 or an 84 with a team of the week, that would be fair. And that would be fair. An 85. I don't know. Uh, an 85. I suppose that's not terrible, actually. I suppose that's not awful. That's probably going to be about, what, 80 to 100? I think probably about 80 to 100, depending on who you use. But it's not awful. It's not awful. I mean, if he was on the market, he'd probably go for, a, you know... A fair bit more so i think paying maximum maybe 120k for him it's not it's not terrible it's not terrible if he fits your team and he works or if you're a fan of him or you want a french player you're a fan of france or you want a french player then uh yeah he's uh he's probably your man but yeah looks very very nice so look see what our our freeze challenge is going to be today so that was yesterday's which is tragic uh well it may not be so bad i suppose actually because you could get it's tradable, you could get some chemistry styles or position modifiers, that kind of stuff. So it could be worth doing and we might do that in a second. Um, today's one is a small rare gold pack, of course untradable. Anything that includes players or the chance to get anybody quite nice is 
untradeable. So cheers EA, cheers EA Sports. 86 plus upgrade. Ooh, it's not, it's not repeatable. Why? Why is it not repeatable? I want to see what, what you actually need to complete this. 84, what? An 84 rated squad. Are you serious? For an 86 plus? Nah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, you've got to be joking at this point. You have to be taking taking the piss. And that seems like it's it. So, yeah, I think that 86 is a massive ripoff. I mean, obviously, I don't know. You could get someone good and it could be worth it. What's the chemistry on it? Was it 70? It was 70. So it's still quite high, the chemistry, but it's not terrible. <laughs> Again, it's one of those where it's tempting, but I think an 84 is just a bit, it's a bit excessive. You know, like, like oh, I don't know, maybe I might, I might do it for the content, but like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, as per, we're going to go ahead and do these freeze challenge SBCs because it's what we, uh, what, it's what we're here for. And I'll show you the squad and be back in two seconds. Okay, so there we go. There's the first one done. Um, again, maybe a little bit excessive, but I don't have that many silvers, unfortunately, anymore because I've been uh, grinding the upgrade packs. But uh, yeah, so that's it's very easy. Just one league. As long as you've got enough rares, seven rares, uh, you're, you're pretty much good to go. And like I said, for the last, I think yesterday I mentioned it, that I always prefer using rare golds, some rare golds or lower rated rare golds just because they're somewhat cheaper than silvers. Um, not always, obviously it's not always the, the case, but sometimes and majority of the time I do find it's probably a bit cheaper doing it that way. For this one, we're just gonna complete it anyway. You need a uh, maximum three leagues, uh, four players from the same league, maximum four, rares two, golds nine, some 65 chemistry will do this. And again, once again, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, there we go. And there is that one done. And again, like, it's just super simple. As long as you have four from the same league, there's that one done. So, good, good stuff. And last one today, regrettably, I'm going to go do the 86 plus for the content for you guys. Because I feel like you probably want to see what uh, what it's like. So, you know... Being being this generous person that I am, I will do it for you guys. But uh, yeah, not that I think it's advisable to do it. Again, it's not repeatable. So I guess that's not, I guess that makes it better because at least then you're not um, constantly wasting 84 rated squads. At least it's a one-time thing. See what you get. If you get something good, you know, that's good. So again, last time today, I'll go away and make the squad and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so there we are. We are perfectly balanced like all things should be so here's my squad we've got a Dubravka in goal we've got uh older we've got Matip Matip going in just a little bit uh we've got um Jao Cancelo and we've got Digne Nabry Godin Ozil Lucas Moore which I don't he's not tradable how expensive is this guy he's a little bit he's a little bit much but I don't use him and he's untradeable so it is what it is and then we've got sadly given up a Lacazette and then a Strakosha up top. And there's our 86 plus player pack done. It, it's difficult because one of those, it's one of those things that I think it's a little bit expensive. So in my opinion, I think it's a little bit expensive, but again, it's not repeatable. So it probably, it really doesn't matter that much. And 84s, they're not all that expensive. It's probably going to cost you about, what, 30K maybe, 30, 35K. I'm just kind of, you know, spitballing here, but I think that's probably what it probably would cost you. So it's not terrible. And especially if you hit something big, it, you know, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, an 86 plus, so it's guaranteed a walkout. And of course you could hit one of these, uh, you know, blue special cards. So it, it is what it is. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It would be nice though, if it was repeatable and it was a little bit more, you know, cheaper. So if it was repeatable, we actually don't get anything good out of that, which is very surprising. We get a Neto um, in Zaki. Wow, not even any good position modifiers. But yeah, so it'd be nice if it was repeatable, but maybe like an 83 squad. That'd be that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, not to be. Today, we don't get a walkout out of these. It's an orange card, which is going to be a Libertadores or a Sudam. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we just got Tadic. 
Yo, that's sick. I actually, I actually wanted him. I don't know why. He looks like a really fun card to use at like cam. Um, especially if you've got like if you got like icons or Ajax players, which there's some pretty good ones. He could, uh, he could fit right in then. Like fifteen thousand coins. And if he gets some upgrades, like I've said, if Ajax do do a bit of a madness and they go they go some some distance into the Europa League, could be looking at like an 87, 88, possibly higher rated Tadic. I might be a bit optimistic, but yeah, that's sick. That is so sick out of just a small small players pack. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? But today, 86 or higher gold player. Who who are we guessing? Who are we thinking? I'd love a Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> love a Ronaldo. But let's see who we get. 86, of course, guaranteed a walkout. I don't think there's icons in this. Oh, yo, walkout. Let's go. It's not blue. I look very white. English. Left wing. It's going to be Raheem the Dream Sterling. Not bad, to be fair. Not bad at all, to be fair. It's better than getting an 86. I, I will not complain at all with an 88. Raheem the Dream Sterling, who goes for about 50,000 coins. So maybe somewhat equal to what you put in. Uh, I got out pretty much the same as what I, uh, I probably spent on the actual pack. So I'll um, I'll take that all day. I'll take that. Definitely. I would have preferred to see, you know, a blue card or something like, like that. But uh, obviously not to be. And then, of course, in store, we have tons of promo packs as per. But um, yeah, that's probably going to do it for today. Again, I think um, I think Lala is actually a really good one. I think he's a really good player, especially if he fits your team. I think for only one squad, which was an 85, wasn't it? I, I think it's, it's worth doing. He looks like a really good card. Um, has some really nice, you know, traits on him, passing, shooting, dribbling, physicality, pace, all that kind of stuff that you want from a possibly semi-defensive right midfielder. Um, and of course, he does have quite good defensive stats. So it's... um. Yeah, in my opinion, I think that's a very, very good card. Um, but I won't be completing it just because it doesn't fit my team. He would only go on the bench and I, there's not much point spending, what, like 100k on a bench warmer. It's just it's just pointless. But yeah, either way, I think it's such a very good, very good card. Good to see that EA haven't completely butchered it and overpriced this one. So unfortunately, today we don't get to say overpriced SBC day of the week. But look a little bit. There we go. Okay, right. Well, yeah, so there's that. Uh, there's another day done. Um, yeah, like I said, I think it's a very good card. It's nice to see that um, it's nice to see some decent cards that aren't just wacky prices for once. Uh, I think if he was a Prem player, you'd be looking at maybe double that properly. It's, uh, it's crazy, but it's true. It's crazy, but it's true. Either way, hopefully I've enjoyed. Um, yeah, packs weren't that great, but I, I, I think... If you're doing the 86, do let me know who you get as well. I, of course, got uh, Raheem Sterling, which is not the greatest. But, of course, uh, like I said, it's better than getting an 86, of course, which I think, you know, probably most people will do. Um, but, of course, yeah, if you have if you have done it, uh, let me know who you get in the comment section below. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you like this video, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated as well. And if you want to see more of this content, like I said, every day of the week until this ends, which I think it It'll run till the end of the year, does it? So when Footmas usually goes, I think. But yeah, we're doing this every single day, 6 p.m. Um, uploaded probably about half seven, eight-ish UK time. So if you want to see that and stick around for the content or more content in the future, do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. Um, but yeah, with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.